Hi, I'm Shane Hudson, your host for Solon Fit Tips. Today I'm here at the Solon Rec with Franny, our group fitness coordinator. Hi, Franny. Good Welcome. morning. Thank Good you. Good morning. Uh, you know, Franny, uh, there's so many group activities that are available to the community. Could you go ahead and tell us what they are? Sure. We do have many different classes here, from spinning to Zumba. We have power sculpt classes. We have many different cardio formats, such as cardio interval and kickboxing. And we also even have an outdoor wellness program that includes hiking and walking outdoors. Brandy, that's quite an impressive list of classes that we offer here at the REC. Can you go through each one of those classes, kind of give us a description of what they involve and what they entail? Sure. So we'll start with spinning. Spinning is an indoor cycling program and anyone can come into a spinning class from a beginner to a very advanced cyclist. And the classes really allow you to monitor your heart rate, monitor your performance all the way through just by the switching of a simple dial. And then we have classes such as Power Sculpt. And a Power Sculpt class is a non-cardio format but allows you to work through all of the muscle groups of your body and work on flexibility, stretching, uh, all the way from the head to the toe and through the core as well. And then we have Zumba, and Zumba is based in Latin cardio dance. Zumba is a great class if you've never stepped foot into a group fitness environment before because you lose all of your inhibitions at the door. It's truly a fun environment that is really inspired by great music and a lot of camaraderie between the instructors and the participants. And then we have uh, cardio interval classes, which is the type of class that allows you to take your heart rate up and down, uh, sort of like a roller coaster. So you, the interval part comes from doing exercises that would allow your heart to go very high, and then exercises that would allow your, your heart to come down pretty low as well. And it's a mix of aerobics, low impact, sometimes high impact, as well as power sculpting core exercises. And then we have an outdoor wellness program, and that is a program where as a group you're led by an instructor to go outside. Sometimes perhaps it could just be a walk in the environment right around the paths of the rec center, or sometimes at the park, going up and down the hills as well. And this can also be for all different ages and all different fitness levels. Uh, for more advanced participants, that walk could turn into a hike, that could turn into a run, all guided and led by an instructor. We have yoga classes here, and the main premise of the types of yoga classes that we have for a group are vinyasa yoga, which is based on a slow flow progression. We have instructors with many different backgrounds. Uh, we have some instructors from India. We have some instructors from right around here in Solon who bring very diverse backgrounds with them to the process of teaching yoga. And our classes do offer uh, a class for a beginner all the way up to a more advanced participant and many of the classes are based on the, the attendees that are in that class and are formulated for those people that actually do come um, either for the first time or on an ongoing regular basis. We have power sculpt classes. These power sculpt classes are essentially non-cardio based classes where the participants use a variety of different equipment such as weights, body bars, bands, and tubes, sometimes resistible balls like we are sitting on today. And the participant is, has the opportunity to use many different body groups all in one class. It's usually an alternative philosophy between upper body and lower body movements. These power sculpt classes or strength training classes really allow one to increase their metabolism and build strength over time. We have step classes, which is a cardio format, and step is a format that is not offered at a lot of facilities. We're one of the only facilities in town that still does offer step aerobics formats, and we offer these classes many times a week. The step classes allow you to really build up in a progression over time. It's a choreography-based class, a lot of fun. Uh, we have a, a really great group that comes on a regular basis, and we have new participants coming into step class all the time. Franny, how would you suggest to our viewers to get involved in these classes? So first of all, to, it's really easy to get involved in group classes. So you can either drop in as a one-day pass just to come in and try a class of any of the different formats that you'd like to try. And then we do also offer passes on an ongoing basis so you can have an unlimited opportunity to come into different classes. Or you can say that maybe in a year's period you might come to 100 classes and you can buy a pass that allows you just to come in freely to any 100 classes of your choice. So there's many different ways to actually step foot in the door. We do have many people that stand outside the door, looking in through the glass, maybe feeling a little bit intimidated to come into a class that they feel uncertain about. They're not sure what it's going to involve as far as their capacity to attend a class. 
So I do say to all of the people that are watching this today, please feel free to open that door at any time and you can step foot into any class. Truly, any class that we do teach here at the REC has the opportunity to cater to someone that has never taken a group fitness class before to the most advanced participant that comes once, maybe even twice every day. So the one suggestion that I do have for someone that's never taken a group fitness class is when you come into the room to introduce yourself to the instructor, to let them know who you are, what your background is, that you've never taken a group fitness class before, that this is your first time, and then also if you have any physical limitations so that instructor can be aware to be able to, to offer any suggestions to you. And then really you'll just meld in with the whole group. No one will know that it's your first class other than you. I do have a saying that I always say to people that have come just for the first time or people that have come for years upon years and that is that while you may feel that all eyes are upon you and it's your first time being in that room the reality is is everyone's looking at themselves in that mirror and truly once you walk into that room you lose your inhibitions and you realize that it's such a fun environment that you keep coming back for more. So every class that we do offer allows modification of intensity for someone that is new and perhaps has never exercised before versus someone who is very advanced and really wants to come in with specific goals and objectives. So my suggestion there, I'll give you an example. So spinning classes, many spinning classes are viewed from the outsider as being extremely intense and for a very advanced exercise enthusiast. But the reality is a spinning class offers such a broad range of intensity levels. So if it's your first time getting on a bike, the instructor will be able to show you how to use the bike and how to use the tension setting to be able to accommodate your fitness level. And there are many different programs actually developed through the spinning program to accommodate a novice that's never been on a bike and that has certain fitness goals to accomplish. And in addition, for someone that is an avid cyclist, perhaps is an outdoor road cyclist during the summer or during the warm periods of time in our climate, come winter, once the temperatures are getting cold and there's ice and snow on the ground, that person can also enter that spinning room and really find the spinning bike to be a very advanced tool to help them with their training during the off season. Similarly, a class like a power sculpt class, which is a non-cardio based class, that's a strength training class. So that does offer the opportunity for a novice, someone that's maybe never lifted weights before, to come in and start with very low weights, very light weights, or even no weights at all and just use their resistance of their own body and some of the tools that we have, such as tubes, uh, to use their own resistance for what feels comfortable so that they can get out of bed and walk the next day and they're excited to come back and to build. And similarly, for someone who is advanced and has been strength training for some time, we do have many sets of heavier weights that allow a more advanced participant to have greater intensity in the same class and in the same workout. So Franny, are there any age or gender limitations for these classes? There really are no age and gender limitations. All of our group fitness classes are open to men and women just the same, and we do have a good participation level from both men and women in all of our classes. And as far as age, we do have group classes that run the gamut from children up through teens, through adults, and also to senior adults as well. It's important at different levels, for example, for children, that at certain classes they do have adult supervision. And as well for adults, any adult that is 40 or older should have uh, permission from their physician to participate in group fitness classes. Franny, great information. Thanks so much for sharing that with us today. Solon, I encourage you this winter to come on by the Solon Rec, sign up for some of these group classes, and participate. I'm Shane Hudson, exhorting you to take charge of your health.